Hello, we're going to do a painting on wood today. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is get your tissue paper, okay? And lay it out to protect your surface, okay? The next thing you're gonna wanna do is get your cup that's included in the kit and fill it about three quarters of the way with water. Okay, you're gonna lay out your paper towel, your water, you'll have one or two brushes, some Q-tips or other tools that were included, as well as your paint. And you will also have a little wedge of a paper plate, and that is for mixing paint. Okay, the next thing you're gonna do is get your sandpaper and find your wood. Make sure you get the part that has the top, okay? So make sure you have the part that has the top string um, and flip it over, okay? I already traced mine, but what you're gonna do is sand your wood, okay, with the paper all around, okay, till it's smooth, okay? You're gonna get your carbon transfer paper, okay? This is the dark side, this is the light side. You're gonna put the dark side face down, okay? Now mine is small, but yours will be big, okay? Dark side down, centered on the whole board. Then you are going to lay this down on top, centered on the board, okay? This will be whatever stencil you have, okay? Okay, now you have your board, okay, you have your carbon paper with the dark side down. Okay, you are going to take some tape, okay, some tape and secure it so it doesn't move. Okay, you could also put one on the top and bottom if you would like. Okay, you're gonna take your paintbrush, the end of your paintbrush or a pencil, okay, you can use either one, and you're going to push down, okay, you're gonna push down pretty hard on here, okay? You're gonna trace the whole thing, okay? You're also going to do it, you could do it with the pencil if you want to, okay? Then you're gonna peel it off and you will see the design. Okay, we are ready to start painting. So what we're gonna do is, I have a few colors here, and I want this part here to be golden, okay? I want it to be these two mixed. So this is our mixing plate. Okay, we're gonna scoop some of these and mix that up into the color that we want. Okay, now you can use your color mixing card for this to experiment with different colors. Okay, and we are going to start painting. Now, because of this is wood, unfinished wood, you might want to do a few layers of paint. Okay, that is up to you.
Okay, so hopefully you watched our little time lapse on the painting of the tiger. I wanted to tell you up close, this is certainly not perfect, okay? So don't be afraid to just paint the wood. It does not have to be perfect. The whole idea with painting on wood is that you want it to look a little weathered, you want it to look pretty natural. Um, so do not worry if you don't have perfectly straight lines, okay? Because when it's hanging on a wall or if you're holding it up for a sign at a game or anything, um, it's going to look amazing. Cheers. Thank you.